This is your weekly social dose. It might be a little hard to swallow, so we recommend taking it with water. This is your weekly social dose. I'm Dallas J. Moore. Uh, we're going to do a three-in-one today. We're going to talk about Twitter. Uh, Twitter is one of those growing social networks that have allowed a lot of people to get connected with other people all across the country and all across the world, which is a great thing. I'm personally a big fan of Twitter. Um, so today we're going to talk about, for the three-in-one, uh, three things people aren't doing that maybe could benefit them in the long run if they were to do, and then a one thing that a lot of people are doing that some people find is not really something that they would like other people to be doing and it's maybe more of a turnoff. So to get started, I guess one thing that you could be doing if you're not already doing is is a photo in your eye for your icon. A lot of people have older photos, they have cartoon photos, they have photos of their kids. To each their own, I absolutely believe that. Uh, but if you're gonna have a photo of yourself, make sure it's an updated photo. If you've shaved your facial hair, if you've got a different haircut, if you've recently got a tattoo on your face, something that would be good to take a picture and update it. So when you're meeting in real life, whether it be Central Iowa bloggers in Des Moines CIB uh, or a tweet up or any other event where you may interact with other people from your network on Twitter in real life, that you'll be able to be recognized because as a personal brand, as a business, and as a brand in general, you want to be able to be recognized. So it's important to think about a photo and updating it regularly. Easy to change. If you take a photo and you don't like it, you can always change it again. If you're your own worst critic like I am when it comes to photos, contact a photographer. I know that there's many of great photographers on Twitter. I'm sure many of them would be happy to take a photo of you for your Twitter page. Um, something else a lot of people skip on is, is a link. A lot of people think, I don't have a website, I don't have a business. Um, sites like WordPress and Tumblr have made it really easy for a lot of people to make great looking websites at a minimal cost and time which is excellent and if you don't have those it's okay linking to your Facebook page is fine if you've got LinkedIn or if you're an avid photographer having sites linked up to photo bucket or Flickr are also perfect so make sure you've got a link if it's not a website that's okay but make sure you've got a link to something that expands more on who you are to expand your personal brand your brand in general um, or if you're a business your business um, so obviously if you're a business you're going to link it to your business profile uh, another thing a lot of people forget to do or don't do as well on Twitter, in my opinion, is is a bio. A lot of people think, hey, I'm awesome. That's my bio. That's really great, but it really doesn't give any more information about who you are, what's important to you, and why I should follow you back should you follow me and I read your page. Um, it could be as simple as, you know, one lines. You know, I'm, I'm in the IT field. I have a family. We like to travel. I enjoy baseball in the summer, and I'm also an avid photographer. That's a pretty decent bio. It's a lot more uh, time, and it, it you know it's not as complicated. So I think adding something like that is simple, or you can even simplify it even more. You know, it could be father, husband, IT worker, summer fan, baseball lover, pet lover, uh, things like that. It's just something to think about. You can always change your bio, and if you decide you don't like it or you want to add things to it, you can certainly do so. Another thing you can do is reach out to your audience and say, I've changed my photo, I've added a link, I've updated my bio, what do you think? What are your thoughts? Ask them. I'm sure they'll give you the feedback that you need, and if you need to make changes, you can do so from there. Um, so to recap, the three things a lot of people aren't doing or could maybe do a little bit better on Twitter, especially if you're first time to Twitter, uh, a photo, an updated photo for your icon. Obviously, again, if you're a business, you're going to probably want to use your logo, which is perfectly fine and is a way to identify yourself, and that's great. Uh, make sure you've got a link. If it's not a website, whether it's uh, a link to Flickr or Photobucket if you're an avid photographer, or LinkedIn if you're a business professional, or even your Facebook page is fine. You can always change your link, like you can change your photo. Uh, the other thing you might want to think about is updating your bio, adding more information about you. Be real. Be a person. Be able to give people a reason to follow you and invite them into the things that are important to you, to you in your life, whether it be professional or personal. Um, so photo, links, bio, really important. Uh, touch really quick on the one thing a lot of people I've seen have done since I've been on Twitter and it seems like it's picking up again is auto DMs or auto direct messages. Once someone follows you and you follow them back, you'll find that sometimes you get a, a direct message which is, hey, I was featured in, you can read more about me here, please take a look at this profile to learn more about what I do and how I'm there. You know, Twitter is not a sales tool per se. Twitter is about a relationship. 
Uh, social media and social networking is about the relationship, not the technology. The technology just allows us to get in that car and drive to that relationship and be able to do it in a more of a time-sensitive manner. So if you're sending out auto-direct messages, to me, it's, 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 it's spam. To me, it's just stuff that I don't want to read. If you want to create a relationship with me and you and I have a friendship and I get to know you and you want to send me something like that, I'd happily read it. If you're going to send out auto DMs once someone follows you back just to kind of sell more on you, something you might want to think about. I know it turns a lot of people off. So that is your weekly social dose. I'm Dallas J. Moore. This is Social Republic. Uh, if you've got ideas or comments about this video, please drop them below. We'd love to hear what you think and we will talk with you next week. Have a great week. Bye.